And a Republican Oklahoma congressman shut out. He was denied access to an immigration facility in his own state of Oklahoma. And that's where more than 1,000 children are being housed. And Representative Jim Bridenstine says HHS refused to let him in. He joins us. Good evening, sir. Hey, Greta. How are you? Thank you for having me. Very well. So I don't get this. You're a congressman. You're even on the armed services. You're even a vet. Um, where, where was it that you wanted to go and what happened? So I, I went down to Fort Sill, which is an army base here in Oklahoma. I'm on the armed services committee. I have visited all the facilities in our state, uh, across the state as a member of the armed services committee. Uh, I went down there. I visited with the commanding general. Uh, after having a great talk with him, I told him I was going to visit the HHS facility. He said, you can do that. That's not my mission. Um, you can go, though. I'm not going to stop you. And so I did. Uh, we drove around the facility. There was a chain link fence around the facility with, uh, you know, some kind of material on the fence so you couldn't see through. Uh, nobody could see out. Nobody could see in. But it looked like a military barracks uh, just with this chain link fence that's been obscured all around it. Uh, we tried to find a gate guard. Um, we couldn't find any access points where there was a gate guard so we could talk to somebody. All we wanted to do is find out uh, who was running the facility. We wanted to talk to them. Uh, the challenge here is, as you know, you've been reporting, there, there, are, there is travesty happening in our country right now. Uh, a lot of these children have been to telling stories of, uh, of, of no kidding, uh, to, to rape and abuse. Um, and, and all I wanted to do is talk to who was in charge of the facility, to some of the children, make sure everybody was, was being taken care of. Uh, and they said, they said, look, you can come back on the 21st of July. Did you say I'm a member of the U I'm a member of Congress? This is Oklahoma's my state. Did you tell them that? Yes, I did. I made that extremely clear. And they still told me if I want to, to take a tour, I can come back on the 21st of July. And I need to talk to Health and Human Services. They have an office of legislative uh, liaison. And they said that I need to talk to them. And then I can come back on the 21st of July. But until then, there won't be any tours. Uh, at which I said, I want to be really clear. You understand I'm a member of Congress. And they said, yes. Uh, I talked to the deputy communications director for HHS. I actually didn't talk to him. I talked to his assistant who said, if I would like to talk to him, I can send an email. I said, I want to be clear. I'm a member of Congress. I'd like to talk to the gentleman. She put me on hold. She came back later and she said, well, uh, the best way to communicate with him is with email. That's what he'd prefer. I said, okay, well, I'm going to send an email and it's going to be a press release indicating that you guys are denying me access to a federal facility in my state. And I'm on the Armed Services Committee. I'm on the Subcommittee on Oversight. The reports I'm hearing that these children are going through, uh, it, it's devastating. And, and, and this, I want to be clear, I, I used to fly counter drug missions out of El Salvador as a Navy pilot. Uh, I've spent a lot of time in El Salvador. Um, the crime there is not worse than it's ever been, and neither, neither is the poverty. Um, the, what's different is that this president's policies, he has advertised to the world that if you're a child and you come to the United States of America, you won't be sent home. And that is what's happening here. This is a failed presidential policy. It has nothing to do with Republicans not passing com comprehensive immigration reform. This, this problem exists specifically because of this president's failed policy. Did you tell Speaker Boehner or call the White House and say, I'm a member of Congress. I'm on the arms, House Armed Services. I'm down here on a base in my state, Oklahoma, and they won't let me in. Have you, have you made a complaint to either one of them? Uh, not yet. But call the chairman of the Armed Services Committee, and I called uh, the, the, the chairman of the Oversight and Government Reform Committee, um, and I've been told that we're going to start the process of finding out what is the policy. Is the policy that members of Congress uh, don't have access to federal facilities? That's the question. And what is it that they're trying to hide? Why is it they don't want me talking to these children, some of which have devastating stories? Well, I think we know we need, we need a whole lot of transparency on this whole issue so we can sort it out. But... Uh, uh, if they won't let Congressman in, uh, I just don't know what to say. Anyway, Congressman, uh, good luck. And if you get in, uh, come on back and tell us what you saw.